You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike. This is gonna be... Well, it's a haul from Kawaii Pen Shop. This is, as you might recall, a uh, a shop of very cute things, and they're becoming a little bit of a problem for Audrey and I. We love their stuff, and uh, man, is it good. So they keep having these offers that we kind of can't miss, and this one included something called a winter mystery pack, and it was like $28, and it was going to include uh, who knows what, all kinds of things worth a, a worth of like 70 bucks. And so I'm like, you know what? I love mysteries, and Audrey talked me into it a little bit. I'm like, yes, let's get it. And so I had to order a few other things in order to push, push it up over the free shipping limit because, of course, I did. And so um, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen all of this because I couldn't, I couldn't not open it. I got it before Christmas, and um, I wasn't home to to film a thing. So you're getting a haul, not an unboxing. But I haven't used any of it. I've been holding off until I made the video, and I'm making the video so I can use the stuff. Okay, so let's get in here. Firstly, uh, take a look at the few things that I actually ordered to push it over the top. The first one is this. This is from uh, Mind Wave Inc. This is washi. You're going to see a lot of washi tapes and that sort of thing today. Just warning you, you're going to be tempted by some of it for sure. And this is a translucent plastic washi. Each of these clouds is actually a different layer. Uh, it is just the coolest darn thing. And they were out of it the last time that I made an order. So I got Sunset Cloud. Uh, because, whew, so good. There is a sort of blue sky cloud one and a few others, but those were sold out. This stuff seems to go fast. So very, very cool. And like everything is like six bucks or something like that. So nothing in this is going to be terribly expensive on its own, really. So mind wave washi tape. And the other one was this, which is kimono washi tape. And uh, this is so good looking. Look at that foil. Look at that pattern. Just, you. I needed to, this is seven meters of just the most gorgeous washi tape. So of course I had to get this one as well. Similar kind of price. This might've been a little bit more because it's twice as big, but like whatever, totally worth it. I'm gonna be using these in my, uh, my commonplace book, probably in my planner, all kinds of places. Cause I love this stuff. And then lastly, of the things I ordered specifically, uh, are these stickers. These are 45 stickers of two ink. And the reason I got these is because as you can see here, they are just, just like, they're kind of weird, right? So these are things that are like ink splotches or one of them's like an ink ring. Some people will do this to make an ink sample, just like take the top of the ink bottle and and put uh, put a card down on it to, to get that ink color. And you get that interesting ring. Can I get this out of here? What's it stuck to? Aha, uh -huh, it's stuck to this. Fun. All right, so let me show you a few of these. If I can figure out how to open it. There we, there we go, finally, goodness. And these are on a clear backing. So we have some, like this one is just like some little hash marks, right? Really interesting to have as a sticker. This one is a little, uh, it's like a little wax seal with a leaf. And that's really neat. Uh, we've got a doily. Uh, I just thought that was kind of fun. Some more hash marks. Or some like splotches. This one is like sort of a splotch that somebody then wrote over. Or... Uh, I don't know, like a tea stain or something. Really came out interesting. There's some little quill things. And I love these for my journals. I put these in kind of things in my journal a lot. Uh, it's just like an ink swatch, but, you know, it's a sticker. Uh, because I think they just look interesting. They add some visual interest to the page without, uh, you know, taking away too much from the rest of it. But I mean, look at that one. It's like somebody did graph paper with like an ink splotch on it. It's really interesting stuff. And so uh, I had to get this one. This is a very cool little set. And uh, I think it's even cooler in person than I thought it was going to be. Let's get these back in the package. Okay, so now let's get into this. Let's get into this mystery thing. Uh, oh, there was another. There was another thing actually. It wasn't just the mystery ba box. There was also some other stuff. So this came in the mystery box, which is this is just a fun little I don't know Rudolph the reindeer pen. It's a gel pen. Let's see. Actually, I think it's a gel pen. Let's unscrew this. Yeah, pretty sure that's going to be a yeah, it's going to be a gel pen. Uh, Audrey actually has one of these. It looks like a cactus. Uh, they are they are pretty fun to have seasonally at the very least. Uh, that's cute. Uh, and then there's this, which came in the mystery pack as well. This is the zebra sarasa uh, vintage color of camel, and this is actually one that I have a couple of because this is a great 
colored pen. The ink is just this color and it is very smooth. I highly, uh, I highly recommend these vintage colors if you haven't gotten any because they are just, just the coolest colors. I mean, look at that. Where else do you get like a weird, like brownish, goldish brown gel pen? Sarasa Vintage. Now we already have a couple of these, but uh, look, you can never have too many because these do run out and uh, I use it a fair amount, so it's gonna run out soonish. All right, here's the other thing. Uh, and there was, if you hit some, I forget what the what the, the 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 minimum was, but if you hit some minimum purchase, you also got this, which is a Japanese-made journal, Tales of Japan notebook. Let's go ahead and get on um, get inside this. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet. This might actually go to Audrey. She's been looking for a journal a little bit. Um, yeah, go let's slide this off there. But this is just really pretty. And it's a very nice looking journal. It comes with these pop out um, uh, bookmarks here and on the inside you have a pair of ribbons you've got uh, it's undated journal style so you got the date up here you got the day of the week you can put down here just all kinds of oh actually interesting so there's a bunch of you know undated journal ones and there's a bunch of blank ones I hadn't even noticed this before a whole bunch of blank pages and then a bunch of graph pages I mean, no matter what your favorite style is, that looks like they've got it in this book. Oh, and a pop-up. Look at that. That's fun. This uh, woman in a kimono or some kind of flowing dress on a boat on a lake. There's sakura blossoms here and cranes. Just really pretty and uh, free with purchase. I think this goes for like 30 bucks otherwise. So it is not uh, generally a very cheap journal. There's a little... I think it came with a little charm of a butterfly, or is it a blossom or a butterfly? It's actually like a butterfly made of blo uh, cherry blossom petals. Really pretty. All right, so there you go. This was the other the the other thing that you got for free. I tell you, this shop just keeps making putting out deals, and I'm like, how do I pass that up? All right. So let's get into the rest of the uh, the surprise thing proper. Lots of washi tape going on in here for sure. This one is all holiday things. We have lots of them on a roll, which I think is a very interesting way to contain these. And the way that it does it, it has this little clip, which is a Christmas tree. How fun is that? And then they unroll like this in one long sheet. If I can find the edge. Ah, it keeps re-sticking itself, and I ripped it in half. I managed to destroy that. That's okay. All right, there we go. There we go. And so it unrolls on one long, like, four-layer deep roll. Really cool, right? And each of these could go on a package or could go on a page of a journal. You could use them in a strip as a, uh, you know, at the bottom or on the margin of a page. They go on envelopes. Just any old thing you want to use them for. Very nice. Uh, so there you go. There you go. Very cool. I think this is neat. I haven't really seen that presentation before, but it's pretty smart. I think that's a, a neat way to do this. And then you just kind of peel it off like a sticker. All right, let's put you back in here. And this is the um, uh, Bentoto House masking tape roll here, which it says. Yeah, like this. I'm not sure if these things are going to be in the shop anymore. A lot of them are seasonal, but uh, you might be able to find something kind of like them. Here's another one that is the same kind of idea, but a different motif. This is more wintry. Another one of these little, uh, little clips. Another piece of very fragile tape I'm probably going to rip. Maybe I won't. You never know. We can be hopeful. All right, I managed to wrinkle a little bit, but it'll, it'll be okay. So there you go, another winter motif situation here. We got presents and reindeer and little laurels and little, uh, little uh, how do you call them, ornaments, foxes, all manner of things on this interesting roll-up style deal. Which I think is actually very, uh, it's really good for these unusually shaped things. Because sometimes when you have washi tape that has unusually shaped sections, it looks great, but it can be very difficult to use because when you try to unroll it, it'll tend to rip at these little edges. And you can, you know, really kind of ruin up your, your washi tape roll that way. I've got a couple that are like that and you have to be very careful peeling them. But this one won't be a problem at all. All right. 
what's next? Aha, uh-huh, what's next is this one. Ah, so this is by, uh, does it actually say, uh, Mocard or something Mocard. It might be something else there. Uh, Forest Mist. Let's see what's in this. Oh, these are stickers. Lots of stickers in this pack as well. So these are what we call sticker flakes or sticker chips. There we go. Lots of lots of very nice seasonal things here. I gave a few of these to my dad, my aunt when they were things that they would be interested in. Some foxes and we got here a uh, like a caribou. We got a nice looking fox there. I may have given the other foxes away, but you know, jars of things, flowers. Again, lots of things to decorate your journals or your commonplace books or your envelopes or your letters. Uh, I like to put these down first sometimes and sort of write around them. It makes it look kind of artsy uh, and maybe more artsy than I deserve. But nonetheless, I think that's, uh, that's pretty neat. Sticker chips right there. All right. Uh, another roll of washi, another Christmassy sort of roll. I did have sort of a dearth of Christmassy washi, so this is pretty cool. And I like the silver foil on here as well. Lots of, uh, lots of trees. More sticker chips. This one, does it have a name on this one? This one might ha- not have anything in English. Hmm, no, no English on this one. Let's have to see. Actually, I don't think I've looked at this one. What is this? Oh yeah, these are really interesting. I did look at these. Yeah, yeah, so these are kind of more photorealistic. As you can see here, we've got a little fox in the snow. We've got, uh, these are snowy tree branches with some light behind them. Just some nice shots of snow, some frozen berries. Uh, this is really pretty. It's like a, is that a lake? I don't know, I would say it's like a little river going down some, some steps with candles and such around it. Just really, really pretty artistic kind of peaceful things for your winter. If you ever get snow, I'm just going to cover a whole page of these things. It's like just a caribou hanging out in the snow. <laughs> There's a penguin. How fun is that? Just being all penguiny. What else do we have here? We have other animals. What is this? No, that's not an animal. That's just branches. This one's snowed in cars. <laughs> I don't think where I live, we're going to see that this year. Here's a nice fox in the wood. Yeah, but really nice sticker chips. Oh, look at this snowman checking his phone. Love it. Another one of those caribous eating some grass. So, sticker flakes, sticker chips. Also, I really like the shape of these. I'm, I'm a fan of sort of um, oddly shaped or interestingly shaped stickers. And um, a lot of times stickers don't just come in like a square or something. And they can be very neat, especially when you're putting them in a journal or something like that. All right. <laughs> I managed to pick another one. This one's all succulents, which I think is very cool. So I am loaded up with stickers and washi right now, y'all. Whoa. Oh no, sticker explosion. Audrey is a huge fan of succulents. She's very good at growing these things. These are all sorts of uh, small plants in pots of various kinds. We just repot- repotted a whole bunch of Audrey's succulents because they needed bigger pots. They were outgrowing them. As you can see there, succulents come in a mad variety of styles, colors, shapes. Definitely we just repotted one just like that. I don't know what it's called. It's probably a crashula or something like that. We have some some cactuses. Definitely have one that's kind of like that. It looks like a tall hen and chicks, but it's not. I forget what it's called. I'm not good at succulent names, but these are very nice. Audrey's definitely going to be getting some of these for sure. Uh, kind of how much she loves a succulent. Ah, here we have a, uh, this is MT washi, which is a masking tape sort of washi, but it's actually stickier than average. I found that these MT versions, like this is MT, are really good for uh, sticking things closed. They actually work more like a masking tape and not just like a, uh, like a decorative thing. Some washi tape is not very sticky uh, and it will peel itself off of things, but this MT seems to be very good. Really nice, just solid, uh, you know, light blue color. Dig it. Often, like, so you don't always want to have washi that's, you know, full of decoration, even if it's like this. Sometimes you just need something a little bit chill that you can put on something to delineate pages or sections. Let's see, let's grab some more of these sticker flakes. We can do more of them at once, maybe. All right, so it uh, looks like these are the last two. So we have one, two, three, five sets of sticker flakes. And at probably six bucks a piece because it seems like most things on that site are about that. That is a pretty good number of stickers. 
All right. So what are these? We have some deer. We have some uh, bare branches, some laurels, some Christmas tree type things. This is kind of like illustrated. I think this would be, re would be really good for Christmas cards and that sort of thing. That's what I'm envisioning doing with them maybe next year. Or maybe they'll go on my thank you cards this year. I still have to write those. It's only been a week. It's okay. Raccoons here. Some more trees. We got a nice looking uh, Mr. Hoof. Some wolves looking over their shoulders. More pine trees, pine boughs. I think that's an ermine. I guess I, yeah, I think it's an ermine. Ermine, ermine, one of the two. There we go. A little Bambi looking fawn there. Nice. All right, I'll put you back in here. This is uh, Mist Forest by Mo Card. I'll need those up later. And then this one is Butterfly Garden. I'm expecting lots of butterflies in this one. They each seem to open in a different direction. It's always got me flummoxed. All right. Yes, nice. So these are very painterly sorts of uh, butterfly illustrations here. Not so much garden, I think, as uh, more butterfly, which is great. I actually... <laughs> Actually, this, I like making my pages look good with butterflies. I've got a whole bunch of stickers. That's a thing that I'm kind of into. And uh, butterflies always make a good accompaniment to something because you can match them sort of to whatever ink color you're using for that day. You can just sort of like give a bit of flair to a page. Uh, and look at that one. Wow. Butterflies are amazing. So there you go. Butterfly sticker chips. Those will definitely not go unused. Is that flower? I don't know which one that goes to. All right, getting towards the bottom. One last washi, and that's this, which is more of an artistic interpretation of some berries and flowers, some poppies. This is by BGM. This is the name of this one. It has a little bit of uh, silver foil on there. Very pretty, kind of abstract. Not going to really... Um, I don't think it's going to distract the eye too much from the text, which is the thing I like. Sometimes you have a really intense pattern. It can be distracting, but this is kind of calm and chill. All right, what else is left in here? Ah, we have here a brass ruler. These come in more handy than you might think. Uh, I have uh, often found myself looking for a ruler, and this is pretty good. It looks like we've got centimeters here and inches. Little uh, six-inch ruler. Yep, pretty good. Little brass guy. Um, these, oh yeah, so these are sticky notes. Galaxy sticky notes from Kawaii Pen Shop. There we go. These are round sticky notes. Uh, doesn't really have product material, paper, <laughs> but sticky at the top, not sticky at the bottom. Pretty nice looking. We're going to need something really bold to write on these to make sure that, to make that you can see it. Uh, I don't know. Let's use this fountain pen test. All right. Yeah. It works pretty well. I think it hasn't quite dry. It's going to have a little bit of a long dry time. I think here it's still, you still see it's still shiny, but no feathering and uh, just a couple of little dots of bleed. So nice and fountain pen friendly, I think, actually, which is uh, a cool thing to have in a post-it note or a sticky note. Hello, Nose. I was wondering how long it would be before Mr. Nose decided to come in here and check it out. Would you like some stickers, bud? No? Would you like to, like, would you like to say hi? There we go. There's Nose face. Mwah. And then, lastly, uh, these, which I'm actually pretty excited about. These are bookmarks. Uh, is what it says, but they're sticky notes that go at the top or the side of a page, and they look like index uh, index file folder tabs, which I think, oh, wow, look at that. They fold down. I didn't even notice that before, but these are going to be super useful for all kinds of pages in my commonplace book, which I talk about a lot, but I also, <laughs> let's see, do I have it handy? So this is my commonplace book, uh, and I... <laughs> I have these little sticker tabs at various places to help me find things, but these are going to be so much better when I stick them in there. You put them on the side of the page and they'll stick out and you can like write something on them. Like, I don't know, uh, top 10 list ideas or fountain pen I just got or pen inked or a uh, recipe or what have you. I have my favorite Chex Mix recipe in here. Just like, you know, kind of commonplace book style. It gets whatever it gets, you know? So these... I think are going to be very helpful to me. And so I'm pretty psyched to get these. So overall, am I happy with what I got for my $28 uh, expenditure here? 
Um, that's all this stuff, plus actually this, because this was free as well. And the answer is, yeah, I'm pretty psyched about all these things, like lots of stickers, lots of washi, uh, interesting things I didn't know I needed, something that I have, but I, uh, I love, so it's totally fine. And uh, this, which is just going to be kind of cute. So, you know, yeah, I think this is pretty good. So check out Kawhi Pen Shop. Uh, not a sponsor, uh, but it's some, a place that I have been buying stuff. So, you know, stop by there. Tell them I said hi. I don't, I don't know if they have a comment thing on their you know, site or not. But if they do, you know, tell them you saw them here. Because uh, really fun stuff. All right, that's it. I will see y'all in another video. Or rather, you will see me or these hands in another video. Until then, peace out.